So today we are getting ready to shoot. I told y'all, I'll see you later, people. Um, I told y'all that me and Britt were doing a training for Botox and filler. So we're gonna do like a little promo, like a video and run an ad for it. I feel like ads do better when they're like video style versus just like um, a photo with some words on there. So we're gonna do that. I did not put no makeup on. I was going to, but then I didn't feel like it. Um, so maybe I should, cause I feel like these spots, maybe he can color correct. I'm gonna ask him like, can you color correct these little spots? Cause I just don't feel like being on a makeup child. Anyway, so I'm about to head there now. The shoot is at three, but it's like, what time is it? It's 1.45, I wanna stop and get me a smoothie and I gotta go get grab Kayla some dog food before they, cause by the time we done with the shoot, the store is gonna be closed cause it's Sunday. So I'm gonna go do that, I just wanna check in with y'all. So let's go. All right y'all, so this is the setup. We're gonna walk, he's gonna get a visual of us walking into the room. Bam, there go the patient. I'm gonna pull my little chair up, sit down. He gonna get me assessing the patient. Then he gonna get a shot of us actually injecting the patient. Y'all know not for real, but injecting the patient. And then me and Britt are gonna be behind here um, doing our script. Like, if you're looking for a class, da 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 da, -da and then throughout the video, like, you're gonna hear us. And he'll probably, like, pan back to us at the end of the video. But um, throughout the video, as you can see in, like, the B-roll, you'll hear us in the background talking about our class. So... He is here now. Me and Britt have set up everything. This is the little scene. Um, just this and this. I'm hoping that none of this stuff in the background show. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move it. But anyway, we are about to get started. So I'm hoping. I think it's going to go smooth. And then we're going to do like some more content. Like create some more content um, afterwards. Because we got like a whole like marketing plan for it. So I just want to show that. Let's go. No, I got you. Oh, how you gonna say your life's better than the photographer? No, I said more life's oh, better. Oh, did you say our life's better? I got you. I even brought this just to give you that. Make it look like J-Lo. I'm trying to cover all All right, all of my blemishes. I, I didn't put no makeup on. Me neither. Yeah, I said I'm not about to do that. I'm just a I'm just tired. Are you a nurse looking to create your exit strategy by opening up a med spa? Like talking about the treatment plan or whatever, but we're not actually talking to the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then we'll say that. Like us standing. Oh. You see what I'm saying? No. Okay. And provide you with consent forms, coaching 101, and crash card scissors, and so much more. This is a hands-on training where you'll get to practice what we teach you. Come learn everything you need to get started and feel confident as a nurse injector. See you soon. All right. Bam. One, action. Welcome in. Two, one. Are you a nurse looking to become a more confident injector and master your injection techniques? Look no further. In our introductory Botox and filler training, you'll learn everything you need to get started injecting and feel confident. In this course, you will learn introduction to injection techniques anatomy and physiology, techniques and tips to prevent complications, resolving complications, crash heart essentials, consent forms, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and so much more. This is a hands-on training where you'll get to practice what we teach. Come learn everything you need to get started and feel confident as a nurse injector. See you soon. Hey y'all, uh, I figured I'd check back in with y'all. The shoot went very, oh y'all, my stomach is cramping like crazy. I don't know if it's gas or what, but child, these cramps ain't playing. Um, what am I trying to say? The shoot went really good. Oh, sorry, y'all. My stomach do hurt. The shoot went good. Um, I don't know why it drained me, though. Like, I was so tired afterwards. I'm surprised I didn't come home and go to sleep. I just couldn't do anything. Like, I couldn't think afterwards. But anyway, I've taken my shower. I'm ready to go to bed. It's still early. What time is it? 
It's not 10 o'clock yet. So I got my planner and stuff right here. I'm about to plan out my week because I just want to start it off knowing exactly what I need to do. I feel like today was a good Sunday. I still got some work done, but I was still able to like kind of just chill and rest. Um, and tomorrow I only got, you know, I only got two days off and then it's back to work for my three days. So I really want to just be organized about what I need to accomplish because our training is coming up not the training but just the whole like marketing schedule that we have is coming up and it's i just got a lot of content that i need to plan and stuff that i need to have in order and so i'm about to bust out my um planner and make sure i just write out everything i need to do so that i can stay on task this week and then i'm going to be in bed early because i have pilates at 5 30 in the morning like who am i waking up at 5 30 but honestly i like waking up early because i feel like i don't like waking up early but i see the benefit of waking up early because i get a lot more done as opposed to if i wake up at 10 o'clock because typically that's when i would wake up like 10 o'clock is like my i feel like okay i can get out of bed but a lot of these at 5 30 and then we'll get our day started so i just want to check in with y'all um, cause I didn't think I even came back after the shoot, but it was successful. We got it done. Um, hopefully, not hopefully, I think he's going to do a good job. He's did a video for her before. Um, but we did good. We did, we did good, but it was a lot of work. Like being an actor, I don't see how they do it, but I guess that's their job. Like they experts in that. I'm not an actor. Like trying to remember simple lines. I'm like, girl, get somebody else to do it. But I think we did good. I'll show y'all the finished product once he sends it to us. He said like, um two weeks but i feel like it shouldn't take him that long but anyway i'm rambling so i'll see y'all tomorrow Hey y'all. So it is, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. I feel so productive. I'm in my closet because I was recording. I'm about to do this like new TikTok series. I've been wanting to get on TikTok. I actually like TikTok better because it's not so like, you don't have to be perfect over there. Like people just be themselves. I feel like when I'm on Instagram, like everything has to be prim and proper and aesthetic has to be right. But on TikTok, it's just like, girl, come as you are. Kind of like how I am on here, like on YouTube. Like, I'm in my closet, my junky ass closet, sitting on the floor. But anyway, as y'all already seen, I didn't got up. I have went to work out. I have made breakfast. I have did my little morning routine, spent some time with God, got a chance to read and just chill before I transition into my work day. And 
I have already gotten my first task out the way. Oh, that's what I was saying. I'm doing this like um, TikTok series where it's called like reinventing yourself. Like, I guess like my social media diary. I'm trying to think of what I'm going to like label it. Um, but anyway, I needed to schedule out the content really. Or just like I did like a brain dump of like all the ideas I had. And then I needed to record because a lot of it is going to be like voiceovers. Like me just like talking. Um, and so I'm proud of myself for doing that because I have been dreading doing it. And I told myself that I'm either, um, we'll see, I'm going to start posting either this week or next week. But the thing is, I, I got to be consistent. And so in order for me to be consistent, like I have to plan everything out. So I am on to my next task for the day. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to leave. I, I'm going to leave. Um, I don't want to stay in here and work. This is the only reason I stay home because my closet is quiet. Um, but for everything else, I'm going to just leave. I don't know where I'm going to go, though. I'm trying to, I want to go somewhere nice. It's hot outside, but I want to sit in the shade somewhere. So anyway, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Say good morning. Today is Monday. I'm starting off well, so let's keep it going. <laughs> I should have decided to start a new, I mean, try a new coffee shop. Um, it's actually really nice, quiet, chill. It's at the Chattahoochee. Y'all, I need to figure out how to get this going. It's a little, my doctor told me it's not an issue. It's just like extra breast tissue. I'm so ADHD. Like, I'm literally focused on popping everything. But anyway, um, at the coffee shop, I pretty much got everything to do on my, the important stuff on my to-do list. Um... They have like a two hour limit here, which is dumb. I don't know if I'm gonna be serious about it in the league because they make you pay for parking, but I don't want one thing about Atlanta, they'll boot your car for sure. But anyway, I feel good. It is now, it's one o'clock and I got a significant amount of stuff done and still time to spare. So I think I am going to pass. I want to go to Bath and Body Works because I'm out of candles, but I don't think the sale is going on now. And I need some, um, the wallflowers. Um, so I might go there. I don't know. Oh, I need to go get dinner for tonight. I'm gonna make me like a little taco salad. I made it last week and it was it was slapping. But um, I'm just chilling now. I think I'm about to just take like a mental break and then probably go home and finish the rest of my work. And then my work day is kind of like done, which I feel good. Like this is why I like waking up early because it's one o'clock and I literally got I did all the content. I did content for two weeks for the med spa. I did my TikTok content. I sent out a coaching call email, a marketing email. Um, I recorded all my audio for my TikTok. I've worked out, I've made breakfast. Like I feel productive. So anyway, I'm about to finish up here. I just want to check in with y'all and I'll chat later. Oh y'all, yeah, so we on Target. I needed to get some more post-its because I'm gonna update my Q3 goal wall and I need to get some more markers because I have used them all or lost them. So, I mean, I'm sticking to, oh, I'm gonna go look for like a workout outfit. I feel like I've been working out consistently enough to now. $7, y'all, why is everything so expensive now? Like seriously, it's annoying. I, maybe you don't need this many. But I um, feel like, I don't like these colors. This is ugly. I feel like I have been working out consistently enough. I guess I'll do these colors. To reward myself with a cute workout outfit. Because y'all know I don't like my stuff. How much are these? $239? Uh, I don't know. These might be 5 Um, But I'm about to go find me like something cute to work out in. Oh, these are actually cuter. This is a cuter color. The Target brand. I'm pretty sure they work just as good. Um, and then I need like some markers too. So let me go find some markers. Anyway, I'm gonna look at the like workout stuff and see if I can find like a cute little, one cute little workout outfit to wear myself for being consistent. And then we out of here. That's it, nothing else. Hey y'all, um, I'm back at the house. Hey Alexa, pause music. I'm about to cook. 
I think I told y'all I made this fire like taco bowl. It's very basic because y'all know I don't know how to cook, but it was good to me. Um, and so I'm making it again because it's like a quick, easy meal. Um, so I'm doing that and then I'm about to do my Q3 goals. I told y'all I was doing that. So I'm about to set y'all up on the tripod and y'all about to watch me do this. Lego. Y'all, I almost forgot about y'all. I, I really, literally turned around about this y'all because I said, you know what? I told him I was going to be consistent. I told myself I was going to be consistent. Well, then, um, My dad told me, after a move like that, there's nothing else to do but to celebrate. Um, so I turned, I was all the way out. I was already in left the house, almost halfway there. And I said, no, let me go get them because I need to be consistent. So anyway, today is... Tuesday. Um, and did y'all talk to me last night? Yeah, y'all talked to me last night because I did my Q3 goals. So I woke up, I feel good. I woke up feeling good, refreshed. Um, and today is about to be a full day of editing. And think about that place. I'm we going back to that coffee shop that I went to yesterday. I'ma sit like they got like this riverbank. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> they got like this riverbank that's so cute. Um and I want to go sit by it anyway but i was saying that to say that the thing about it is that they do a two hour parking but it's like pay like you only you can't extend it like in your two hours you up and you gotta leave but that gives me a good time frame to get work done and then take a mental break it's like i know that in two hours i gotta get as much done as possible so let's make the most of it so i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna be like focused because you know usually when i'm working child i'm on my phone i'm checking emails and it just be chaotic sometimes and i feel like sometimes i don't make the most use of my time but this is like going to force me so let's go So that's all I don't know. I'm not gonna bust my ass with this computer. I probably should YouTube how to get on a handle before I get on here so I don't embarrass myself. Okay. Oh. Okay. We almost got it. I think we got it. Okay. Alright. Oh shit. The computer closed, but you know what? We have fun. We got it. <laughs> we made it up here. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I think it take like a little bit of a, a skill though. But y'all, look how nice and pretty. Ouch. What's that? Oh, that's my thing on back. Look how nice and pretty it is out here. This actually might be my little spot. I love it. It's right over the water. The only thing is you gotta pay me like a two hour parking thing. I don't know if they serious though. Atlanta be very serious about their parking. They will boot you in a minute. So I usually don't play around, but I might just to kind of see. The, the boots don't be, they do be, they be like $75. Ugh, okay, but yes, we're here. I'm about to do this for a little bit longer. This is cool. Um, I'm on a roll though. I am on a roll. So, bye. Yeah, so we're done editing. I edited really 80% of my video. I only gotta do like the ending and then add like my little inserts in there. But I edited until my computer was about to die. So I feel good. Like honestly, that video should be able to go out tomorrow. But y'all, when I was in that hammock, I stayed here for like an extra hour. So I'm hoping 
I don't have a boot on my car or my car is still here. I was reading reviews and people were saying like they got like monitors. Like I guess only the coffee shop people can they have to stay in a coffee shop. Like they can't be on a river. I'm like, what? That doesn't make sense. Like that's the coffee shop back there. Like that doesn't make sense. So people was complaining about that. And I guess it didn't used to be pay parking, but everybody didn't got hip to it now. So now they charge, but the thing is you can't renew it. Like you go literally only stay here two hours out of the day. Which I'm like, that's crazy. That's stupid. And it's not even like they be crowded like that. So I'm hoping I don't have a boot on my car. I don't see a ticket right now. And we don't have a boot. That's good. Cause usually I'm telling you, Atlanta don't play about about their boots. They will boot you in a minute. But I guess technically this is not like in the city of Atlanta, this is an apartment complex. And they probably don't have nobody like walking around clocking people. But one review was saying, like the girl was saying, like the monitor people kept bothering them. And I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. There ain't nobody bothering me. It was nice. It was beautiful. It wasn't even as hot. It's, I can tell it's hot now, but it wasn't even as hot over there because I was under the trees. And oh, y'all about to overheat already now. I was under the trees and also I was by the water. So anyway. I'm about to go home and make me some lunch because I I'm hungry and I will chat with y'all later. Hey y'all. Um I think when the last time y'all see me, I had left the um coffee shop. Y'all today was I did get stuff done. I edited a whole entire vlog, which I never do in one day. So I am proud of myself for that. I, I obviously already know I'm gonna say I feel like I could have did more. But after I got home, I just like chilled and was watching Scandal for the rest of the day. I had like a coaching call at seven and then that was it. Um y'all want me to this ice cream y'all these strawberry short mm, my teeth so sensitive. These strawberry shortcake like best ice cream in the world honestly i wish that they made the coating of it like by itself because that's what i really like that's i can just eat that all day yeah i'm gonna say i'm gonna go help pops do some stuff yeah i'm gonna check back with y'all because that's how the way my phone was up i'm technically about to be working for the next six straight shape i don't know i ain't gonna be telling y'all again Typically, like, my manager is actually, she cool with my schedule. When I first started, I had Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was my schedule. You know, I had the weekends off, you know, the next four days off. I like to do all my days in a row because when I'm at work, I just want to focus on work. I don't have to think about it until it's time for me to go back the next time. And when I'm at home and I'm just doing me or my self-care, I want those days to be consistent as well. So, anyway, if my schedule started off with Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at first, and then we switched it to... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I think. Or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't, know, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I've been having a weekends off, or I would work one weekend. I think it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at first, and then it was, no, it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday at first, then it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then she was like, I really need people on Sunday, which really is not my problem. However, I didn't mind switching to Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, because still I would have Friday and Saturday off and like two days during the week off. So now my schedule is, it's weird in transition from the schedule. So currently my schedule is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I'll have Saturday off and then the new schedule will start Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So child, pray for me. Cause I ain't did this many days like that in a minute and I know it's going to be draining but hopefully I have like some good shifts but I just said that the side of y'all probably not gonna see me so if this is the end of the vlog oops. so if this is the end of the vlog like I wanted to end it properly because I am horrible at coming and saying goodbye to y'all <laughs> and then I just get to the end of it and it is cut off so I'm trying to be better about that but if not y'all see me throughout the week I just highly doubt that I'm doing anything I might go get my hair done nope I'm not gonna get my hair done until next week because next week I'm going to see Beyonce so I'm gonna just wait to get my hair done so yeah I'm not gonna do anything like Saturday I guarantee you I'm going to sleep all day so that I can prepare for Sunday so this probably is the end of the vlog uh-oh, I will chat with y'all next week.